Let's talk codependency. I thought we can have an honest conversation together and whether you're like me and you don't even realize you're codependent because in my case, I am super independent. I've always done things alone. I moved to Kauai across the country all by myself alone. I have traveled alone. I am pretty independent and okay with being alone. But when I get into relationship, I tend to pretty much start to be codependent on my partner. And I, it's hard to be aware of that when you're like me and you have those two sides because you're so strong in your independence when you're single. And then when you're not single anymore, you start to feel codependent and you don't even realize it because you've, you've always been really independent. And so you don't really realize it until shit hits the fan, shall I say. And that's kind of what I want to talk about because I want to have an open and honest conversation with you guys because I like shit basically hit the fan for me and I realized that I was super codependent and I had to change my ways. So I'm going to talk about first what to recognize when, even if you don't think you're codependent, what to recognize and maybe start to notice if you are really affected by your partner's or someone else's, you know, mood with how they feel about you, if it affects your entire day, if it affects, you know, how you feel about yourself, whatever it is, if it greatly affects you, you're probably codependent. Another thing to recognize is you just put everything into that person or that relationship whatever it is maybe it's a friendship maybe it's with a family member you put your all into that and you're not putting anything into you as an individual so for example in my case i i'm just going to tell you guys my story so i came to i have been traveling for a while and i came back to california not to um stay here permanently but i came here to make this my home base because making my home base Kauai or costa rica was just too challenging because it's very expensive to fly from there and then i would come back here and then i would fly out to wherever it was that i was going so i decided to make california my home base again and just travel full time from here so i came back here and i wasn't looking for a relationship whatsoever, but I somehow met my boyfriend. I went to Israel for over a month and we became closer while I was over there. I came back and we kind of full-fledged went into a relationship together. So I wasn't expecting that by any means and that's why I really didn't notice that I was codependent because I just felt like hey, I went and still traveled by myself for over a month and I didn't stay here because of a guy. But long story short, I basically am now, then coronavirus happened and yep, so now I'm back. I've been in California for a long period of time and it's pretty much like my home now. So I didn't plan on this and I didn't realize that I was becoming codependent on my relationship and I didn't realize that I was truly putting everything into my relationship. The reason that I was staying in California, the he was my videographer, I was putting relying on him for filming, for editing, for helping me with every aspect of my business. I was feeling depressed because I wasn't traveling. Um, the coronavirus stuff happened and I went, I just really felt sad and he was depressed as well because he was going, we had just come from Vietnam, this super high of like, we're on this beautiful trip and 
we want to be nomads and travel more and then coming back to being in a lockdown and really making us face our inner demons and I didn't realize that I was codependent until he started to pull away from me and he he was dealing with his own stuff internally and I took that as that it's something's wrong with me and I started to become so anxious so depressed and that's what I mean by noticing when somebody else's behavior affects you because I became depressed and anxious because of him pulling away when I should have realized like he's going through something within himself it's never gonna have I mean it could have something to do with me but it it like at the end of the day it has to do with something even if it has something to do with me it still has something to do within him and instead of just allowing him to go through that I was trying to control the situation I had I was full of anxiousness I became constantly trying to figure out how to solve this issue and I I really just like forgot about myself and it wasn't until he completely, you know, hit a point of really pulling away from me to the point that we didn't talk for a week because he needed to go through his own internal battle with himself and that put me in a really dark place. I I really just got depressed. I didn't leave my bed for days. I didn't know what to do with myself and I felt like wow I've relied on this guy for so much for not only business stuff but also my happiness my not feeling anxious and I realized in that moment that I was full-on codependent and that I have a tendency to become codependent on my partners and my relationships and that I'm easily independent and stand my ground when I'm single and then when I fall in love I really just lose myself and so in that week that we weren't talking I really had to rebuild within myself and remember you know my independence and how I've done all of these things on my own and so why can't I continue and that the way somebody else feels or whatever they're going through shouldn't affect me on such a deep level and I should be able to stand strong in who I am and how amazing I am as well as knowing that I can do a lot of things on my own and so part of that process is I got help in learning my relationship patterns and re learning how to re make new patterns and how to you know let go of the old patterning that I had with all of my past relationships and all this patterning patterning that I didn't realize I really built from like it was all I've ever known since a kid because I didn't have an example of healthy relationships as a kid. I can dive into that on another YouTube, but I, yeah, I had a really horrible example of healthy, healthy relationship as a kid and I never learned how to communicate properly, how to have healthy communication in a relationship. The example that I had was just not good whatsoever and so from a child I never learned the right patterning that you should have in a healthy relationship and how to process things and how to communicate and also how to not be codependent because honestly my mom is codependent and she's codependent she's been codependent on her relationships as well as on me and so I didn't realize that subconsciously on a deep level this was a reoccurring pattern so I had to learn I had to acknowledge those patterns that I've learned from 
childhood from my past relationships and l decide to let those patternings go and create new patterns for myself in my relationship. I had to learn how to set boundaries with myself as well as understand when my partner is setting a boundary and be okay with that and not go straight into fear mindset. So separating some things that I suggest is to write down all of your relationships, write down the things that you have gone through as a child and start to see patterns that maybe you're repeating now to this day. Maybe you start to repeat when you're in a certain friendship, when you're in a certain relationship, even maybe with your family members and decide to let those patterning, that patterning go and how what's the new patterning that you want to have in your future relationships the next thing that is key is knowing when you are entering a fear mindset and that's something that i'm still working on today so as soon as like let's say somebody in your life pulls away or they you know are going through something and you start to feel that anxious mindset of like it's me or you want to like down spiral because the other person is pulling away so you're entering that fear mindset because of your past so it's staying mindful of that and reminding yourself you know i'm entering a fear mindset how can i pull myself out of this what can i remind myself that okay i've gone through this before it was the other person just needed space i survived it was okay you know or hey this is pat old patterning coming up i'm going to acknowledge that realize that it's fear-based and do something for myself so that was huge for me is anytime i started to feel fearful or that started to obsess about the other person and how they're feeling or how they're thinking I started to do stuff for myself. So I invested in courses for myself. I invested in my camera gear and full equipment to so that I can no longer have to rely on somebody else to film me to do all these things for me. Like I invested in courses to learn it all on my own and I invested in the equipment so that I could start to do this on my own because I wanted to feel independent and that I don't have to full, always rely on someone. It's okay to have somebody to help you and guide you when they willingly want to, but I, in my personal case, I didn't want to 100% just be relying on somebody else. So that was huge for me and letting go and being mindful of my fear mindset was huge for me. and. The biggest takeaway that I'm going to tell you from this whole experience because it has now been eight weeks later since eight or nine weeks since that whole experience and I have never felt so strong within myself. I have never felt more mindful of my actions, my reactions, my patterns, my fear mindset and then the biggest takeaway is that my relationship completely transformed completely like night and day transformed where my partner is always wanting to is reaching out to me constantly and wanting to see and spend time with me my partner is aware of his actions and reactions now my partner has said and done things for me that I've always wanted him to do for me because I but I was trying to control the situation before and it was all coming from fear and it was all coming from me being codependent and not just allowing him to do things on his own and I'm telling you it's like night and day that my relationship has completely transformed and so yeah that's my biggest takeaway is those three things and I just want to tell anybody who is watching this and who you know you really resonate with all of this and I'm saying that they I'm here to help you I am still learning myself but I'm offering coaching to help others through this process 
as well as I just I just really want to help people through through my journey in this in my journey in discovering healthy relationship in my journey in healing from being codependent healing from trauma patterning healing from traumatic past relationships i want to start to share this journey with you guys on my youtube channel because in sharing my journey i'm hoping that i can help others and take my healing a step further as well so thank you guys for watching this and this is my first video where I'm sitting and talking, so I probably was a little bit awkward and I was putting this off forever, but I told myself, you know, I need to just do this. I need to just get this out there. So I thank you if you watch the whole thing. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and please comment below. I want to start a conversation. Let's talk about it. Let's let's talk more about all of this. So yeah, comment below your thoughts, your feelings, what you may be going through, and let's talk about it, and let's start a conversation, and I'm sending love to all of you guys.